Hey Canucks fans, Clay Emo here, at Canuck Clay on Twitter, checking in with my second video of the day. As I anticipated, the Canucks made a couple of moves, one you call a major move, one a minor move. Those are the two that we know of on this trade deadline, Monday, February the 25th. First, we learned that the Vancouver Canucks shipped defenseman Eric Branson to the Pittsburgh Penguins in exchange for left winger Tanner Pearson. The salaries are basically a wash. Good Branson is on the books for $4 million for the next two seasons. Tanner Pearson coming here on the books for $3.75 million for the next two seasons. So like I said, only a $250,000 a year difference, $500,000 total over the two years. Not a big difference in salaries at all. Good Branson was traded here for Jared McCann and a couple of draft picks in the summer of 2016. Never really caught on. He became, quickly became a whipping boy for Canucks fans. His play, you know, he's not the most dynamic player. He wasn't great getting out of his zone. Didn't do a lot offensively, defensively a liability. So a lot of things added up. That's why a lot of fans weren't happy with him. On the good side, he was a good leader. He was great in the community. You know, good spokesperson for the team. But that can only get you so far when ultimately we're looking at the results of a team. We're looking at are you a winning team and we're looking at stats. Looking at Gabranson's stats, not great. In his first year, six points in 30 games, a minus 14. In his next year, five points in 52 games, a minus seven. And this year, only eight points in 57 games, but the most condemning stat, he was a minus 27. And you look at any type of you know um, metrics or stats across the league, and he was showing up in the as one of the bottom defense, uh, bottom performing defensemen in the entire NHL. So. What this does for the Canucks going forward is opens up a spot on the right side. I was looking more at the left side. The left side is a little more crowded, right, with Edler if he comes back, with Hughes, of course, coming up, with Hugh Levy maybe coming up, and there's Ben Hutton. On the right side, you're looking at really only Chris Tanev and Troy Stetcher. So there's an opportunity there to fill in another, you know, top 60 man on the right side with Good Branson's departure. Coming back, Tanner Pearson. I actually like Pearson. I know he struggled in the past couple seasons, but he was drafted in 2012 at the end of the first round, right? The Kings won the Stanley Cup the year prior, so or, or earlier that year. So he's the 30th pick, So, but he was a first round pick, albeit the last pick of that first round. That's 2012 draft. And throughout, it, it, when he started his career, he joined forces with Jeff Carter and Tyler Toffoli to make the 70s line. They all had you know jersey numbers starting with the, the number seven. Uh, in the 70s and he did really well for three seasons 2015 uh, 16 he had 36 points 2016 17 he had 44 points and 2017 18 he had 40 points so it was always between the 35 and 45 point range then he slowed down at the start of the season he only had one point in 17 games then got traded to pittsburgh for carl Hagelin. and since he's been in pittsburgh 14 points in 44 games so he only has 15 points this season in about 60 games so not a lot but the Canucks are looking to shore up their left wingers, right? You still have Godobin there, you have Roussel there, and maybe not a lot more there. So Tanner Pearson could easily get a chance. You could argue he's an upgrade over Ryan Spooner. So you might get a chance to play in the top six and maybe alongside Bo Horvat or Elias Pettersson. So I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people aren't huge on the deal. They're, they're not so, well, they're, they're happy because Gabranson's gone. They're not so happy with the return, but I think the, the disappointment over the return is overshadowed by the happiness that Eric Gabranson's gone. So I'm sure we'll be talking about this over the next few days, but that's the major trade that the Canucks made is Eric Gabranson out, Tanner Pearson in. Salaries, like I said, basically a wash, almost the same over the next two years. They each have two years left on their contracts. Then a minor move that was just announced, but almost more intriguing. The Canucks have traded Jonathan Dolan. Remember, he, we got him two years ago at the trade deadline for Alex Burroughs from Ottawa. Traded him, the same Jonathan Dolan that has made magic with Elias Pettersson before in Sweden. Traded him to the San Jose Sharks for another Swedish player, and this guy's name is Linus Carlson. And Linus Carlson is younger. He was drafted in the 2018 draft, so just last year, third round, 87th overall, whereas Jonathan Dolan was drafted a few years ago, and he was drafted in the second round, I think in the 50s somewhere. I didn't get a chance to look it up. But I, this is interesting, like I'm, and I'm not going to be naive enough to say, oh, Pedersen must be mad, Pedersen's going to be upset, Pedersen, you know, is, is now want to leave Vancouver. Who knows, Pedersen might have played with Carlson somewhere, might know Carlson as well, although there's a bit of an age gap. Actually, Carlson's no, only one year younger. Um, so maybe we'll hear about Pedersen also knowing a bit about Carlson. We do know that they haven't played together, obviously, as much as Pedersen and Dallin have, if at all. And Carlson is, um, you know, still playing in that, not the Swedish Elite League, but the one below the, the league, I can't even say, the Al Hockey Alsvenskan. Alvinsk, Alsvenskan, you know what I'm saying. 
people that you guys can probably uh, say that a lot better than I can. So he's not in the Swedish Elite League, but he's in the same league that Pedersen played in two years ago. He's a center. He had a really good season uh, last year in 2017-18, not so good 2018-19. But I think, you know, we'll learn more about Linus Carlson. I'll learn how to pronounce that league pretty soon. But what's more important is the fact that Jonathan Dahlin is on his way out of the organization just two years after being acquired at the trade deadline. Interesting, we'd heard stories, Matt Securis, uh, you know, broke the rumor a couple days ago. We heard stories that Canucks manager wasn't happy with his performance in Utica, whether it was his work ethic or his conditioning. He was doing okay, he wasn't doing poorly. His stats were okay, they weren't great, but they weren't poor. And the one thing I did notice though, I do remember there were high hopes for him coming out of training camp in, back in September, and he looked very bad in the preseason games. He didn't look confident, he didn't look strong, he actually didn't even look that fast, didn't look that skilled. It was a rough, I remember it was a rough preseason for almost every Canucks player, but Jonathan Dolan was one that they indeed had high hopes for. So Jonathan Dolan on his way to San Jose in exchange for another Swedish player named Linus Carlson. We'll learn more about him in the next few days. Maybe there's a couple more minor trades with the Canucks, I don't know. But if not, even if we're only at these two, you could argue that it was a very you know, active trade deadline for Jim Benning. A major move, good Branson for Pearson. A minor move, Dahlin for Carlson. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I know you have a lot to say, whether it's about Gabranson, whether it's about uh, Dahlin, or whether it's about Pearson. Leave a comment below. Later, after my meetings, I'll get a chance to read, react, and reply. I'm sure there'll be a good buzz in the arena tonight, given these trades. Uh, you know, a lot of fans talk about it. I'm, I'll be at the game with my lovely wife, Gail, as I talked about earlier this morning. So if you're at the game, come say hi. I'm in section 319. I'll see you in the concourses, maybe before, after, during intermissions. Love to talk about these trades. Love to get your feedback on these trades as well. So Canucks fans, comment below. I'll be in there. Subscribe if you'd like to, like this video, like to enjoy the day, enjoy the rest of the trade deadline as we learn about all these deals, analyze all these deals, Canucks related and non-Canucks related. It was a busy day in the NHL and I hope the Canucks, despite all this craziness, are able to pull out a win tonight when they host the Anaheim Ducks. God bless and go Canucks go.